Hi there, so I am going to answer another one of your Ask Abigail questions. How do I get rid of puffy eyes? This is something so many of us, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female or teenager or 80, I'm sure at some point in your life uh, you've experienced puffy eyes. There are so many things connected to puffiness under our eyes. Firstly, there can be a genetic predisposition to it. If that is the case, you know, we're kind of fighting against the genetics and that's a really tricky one. If it's not that, there are some lifestyle things that will definitely be potentially aiding the puffiness. Lack of sleep, we know that. Uh, partying, we kind of know that. Too much alcohol, we all know that. Uh, but I know it's kind of potentially making those life changes to help reduce the puffiness. And it might be that actually you've been doing all of those kind of things, having an amazing time for years, and then all of a sudden you've noticed that the puffy eyes have started. It could actually be that the body has just kind of got to a point where it's going, nope, you're kind of, I'm just kind of feeling a little bit overloaded with everything now. Uh, and that puffiness kind of then continues on uh, through your, your adult years. It could be that you have a food sensitivity. It doesn't have to be a food allergy. Uh, it can just be a food sensitivity. It could be gluten is a, is a key one or a common one. Uh, dairy is another common one, but we're all made up so differently. So what you may or may not be sensitive to might be very different to, to what I might be. For me personally, uh, I probably had a couple of years where I was just waking up in the mornings and my eyes felt kind of heavy and puffy and I tried cutting out bits and pieces and tried loads of different eye products. For me, my big switch was giving up caffeine. I have written a blog on this, so please go, go and have a read. Um, and it wasn't just giving up coffee, it was also giving up black tea. So no caffeine at all. And I found probably within three to four weeks, the puffiness that I was personally experiencing has, has practically gone and I'm now not waking up with the puffy eyes. I don't think I've really made that many other changes. So I, I think that's got to, I'm still enjoying a few glasses of wine and I still eat my chocolate. So that is definitely the, the key change that I personally found quite, quite different. Um, from a product point of view, I have never seen or experienced or heard of a magic product for your eyes to get rid of the puffiness. I've, I've not. I'm sure if I could make one I'd be a very wealthy woman um, and you know I'd have lots of very very happy customers. I have very happy customers um, but I haven't got that magic product to get rid of puffy eyes at the moment. It could also be that the products that you're choosing for your eye area are wrong. They're not working for you. They could be too heavy. There could be an ingredient in there that you, your skin isn't liking. It could be that you're putting too much product around the eye at night time, meaning that you're going to wake up with more puffy eyes. And you know, I'm personally, I'm not a fan of any eye products around the eye area at night time. Stick them in the day, not in the evening. But it might be switching up. Maybe try going product free around your eyes for, for a period of time and, and see if you, you notice any difference with that. We, if you want to kind of a quick remedy to support the, the puffiness under the eyes, it's great to kind of keep cold teaspoons in the fridge. Not the freezer, because you'll find that they'll stick to the skin, they'll be way too cold, but just in the fridge. So if you've woken up, I know I've occasionally done it if I've had a bit of a tearful moment and kind of as you get older, you you literally look like you've done, you know, five rounds in a boxing ring and your, your puffiness just doesn't disappear anymore. I find cold teaspoons and gliding them underneath and keep going from the inside out it's not going to disappear straight away, but that's going to help with the drainage. I also, if I'm excessively puffy, I will get ice out of the fridge. I will put them into uh, my bowl of water. So fill the sink up with cold water and then I'm constantly splashing cold onto my face and particularly around my eyes. 
I will do that for quite a while. So at least whether it's one to three minutes, which feels like a long time, or even put an ice cube inside wrapped in a bit of a tissue, dampen it slightly and glide that underneath as well. Getting that cold, you're kind of constricting everything and supporting the lymphatic system. Another thing that you can do, which is great, is just with the kind of pads of your fingers, gently place them on the skin underneath. And there's a gentle, pulling of the skin i say pulling of the skin it's more of a tack on the on the skin the skin underneath the eyes is really delicate but i'd be kind of starting like that and i would continue that just slightly down and even kind of just inside we've kind of got some drainage areas here sides of nose Sides, I've literally got fingers, so it's still pulling down and out. And then whenever I'm doing drainage, I always, I know it's not on the eyes, but I always encourage that drainage all the way down and finish with some movements on the neck. But you could actually kind of combine that. You could literally cold teaspoon, cold icy water, some drainage, and you can even repeat that process if you're feeling particularly puffy. I hope you found that helpful. Please do ask me any questions below.